Let's take a look. Look at these stacks, bro. Bear Squad, what is up? The Polar Bear is back after having his account hacked. Excuse the car. I don't really drive this one much. Although I'm a slob, I can't I can't really try to say anything because the van's dirty half the time too. So we're in the car today because we're just doing a collection. I'm sorry the video is sped up, so it's not quite as smooth as I normally get it to come out. But uh, I wanted to get every bit of footage I could on this one. We're at the uh, Subaru Claremont location. And uh, this is literally, hands down, my best location. Absolutely love this place. Not my favorite location when it comes to people, but probably my second favorite location when it comes to people. Pulling a fast stack out of there. And then uh, you guys saw us a few times as we were pulling stacks and putting them in there. And you can see me pulling them out now. This is just the soda machine. It's crazy. We did... Uh, Actually, I'll go over that in the end. Make sure you watch till the end and I'll go over the actual numbers here. But uh, we were in and out of all of these locations as quick as we feasibly could be. The uh, drive time, obviously up there a little bit because of where I live. But uh, I'm not gonna complain too much. I'm gonna get, uh, get right to this here. So the snack machine is performing phenomenally. Holy cow, we're gonna have to restock this thing like to the max here real soon. It's uh, running out of everything. While we were here, I decided to just check and see what we had. We, the machine is like literally completely empty. Um, I just decided to make it look a little bit fuller with what I could do. I plan on coming back to this in a couple of days and we're gonna, hopefully if I can manage it, we're gonna fill this sucker as much as we feasibly can. I'm gonna get it, uh, get all the product we can into it. I'm gonna get a couple boxes of chips and we'll get it full up real good. Look at that bill acceptor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We've never seen the snack machine bill acceptor quite that full. I was, I was shocked when I saw it. Granted this, uh, that only accepts ones. I should probably change it to ones and fives. But it is, Oh man, I could not flip and believe it. How much that took, it was amazing. So I just scooted that around, you know, maybe we'll move some of these up here just so it at least has some sort of visual appeal. We have determined at this point that uh, if the machine looks full, it performs better. It absolutely does. I thought it might be the other way around, but it's not. And I'm just gonna wave at you guys in a second here and I'll do that pretty much at the end of every clip. Bam. All right, and we are at Claremont VIP. One of the VIP. We're gonna be doing so much stuff to this location here soon. We're gonna be changing a lot of stuff up. I thought those doors were open when I went and serviced it, but they were not open. Wound up having to uh, go around the building, which is no big deal. We're gonna head in here and go get some money. Are those this location suffered pretty bad this month. I think this location was down dramatically compared to last month because of a couple of things. A, for like a week there was an out of service sign on the soda machine. The soda machine hasn't been stocked properly because I've been trying to get it empty so we can switch it out with a different one. B, we're still having issues with the bill acceptor on the uh, snack machine. So we're going to be changing the whole machine out with a machine that performs better. And uh, actually, both machines are going to get switched out at this location. It's going to happen this weekend. Um, I'm getting a little bit frustrated with my Coke bottler because this machine is owned by the Coke bottler. Uh, they're supposed to be here tomorrow, um, which will be Friday. And... Uh, before that, they were supposed to be here Monday, and now I guess they don't even have a date that they're gonna do it. I'm uh, pretty frustrated because now I've told the location three different, uh, I've told the location two different dates, and now tomorrow when I go in service, I have to be like, yep, well, it's gonna happen a different date, and I'm not sure what the date is, and that's just, it's just not good for business at all. So hopefully we can recover from uh, the poor impression that we've created at this location. I'm explaining right now to them that there is going to be uh, two new machines tomorrow, which tomorrow I now have to explain that there's not going to be two new machines, there's just going to be a new snack machine. So we'll see what happens, but uh, 
All right, let's move on to the next location. Now this is a rundown of every soda and snack machine I have. We're now at uh, Tire Warehouse West Leb. Love this place, absolutely love this place. These guys are my favorite people. I love being around them. Second strongest performing location that I have. Just great people in general. So we're just gonna move this tire out of the way, move the chair out of the way, spin around a little bit, do a dance, move that around. Bam, snack machine. So we've already got some stuff that's empty, so we're just gonna fill it in real fast. It's all the, uh, all the 45 cent stuff. I'm glad that, that stuff's selling out. That rail is gonna be empty soon. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through and grab uh, the out of date stuff. Or I don't have any out of date stuff now that I stop and think about it. Oh man, that rail is gonna be totally empty. Maybe, we'll see what happens. I'm just kind of evening stuff out a little bit because I don't have any product on me right now. We're gonna service these locations and we're gonna fill everything to the max here pretty soon. I'm gonna just take a paycheck and I think I'm just gonna take a paycheck and fill our inventory. That's what I need to do. And then uh, starting next collection period, we're gonna start buying product with profit. That way, uh, that way I'm not throwing money in every different direction and that uh, will save Domino's money to buy new machines with Domino's money instead. Someone recommended that I try doing it that way instead. So I'm gonna try it that way and see how things turn out. I'm hoping for the best. Like I, I think that will probably be, it'll probably show you guys a bit more like what the business is actually profiting in the end. Cause it's kind of hard the way I'm doing it right now. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll, uh, we'll instead of, uh, Instead of taking the money that we're pulling in these bags right now, instead of taking that and buying new machines, we'll take that, replace product, and then whatever's left will go towards new machines, and uh, we'll use Domino's money for new machines as well. And fuel. We'll probably have Domino's money cover fuel for a while. Uh, there is a possibility we're going to get a couple new locations here soon. My father approached me yesterday and said, uh, Hey, Uncle Pete's... Um, shop that he works at your competitor just pulled out of they pulled out of it probably because it wasn't making enough sales but if it makes a hundred dollars a month or more I'll take it actually I'll take anything <laughs> right now once I get bigger I might start narrowing things out and selling off the smaller routes that I have but uh, we'll see we'll see what happens later in life so this is a real quick one this is just the uh, airport location I didn't really have to move a whole lot around, but uh, these guys are going to need to be completely restocked here soon as well. You can see we're running out of stuff here. It's a good thing. That's what you want. Be running out of stuff. Pull the money out. Now this location didn't do quite as well. I mean, it doesn't ever financially do quite as well because there's competition here, and I've got my pr prices marked down so low that. Uh, my competition, well, my top competition's hurting a little bit. <laughs> They're not doing so good, which is good. That's that's what we want. That's what we want. So we are now at where are we? What is this location? Oh, this is this is Hyundai. I'm sitting here trying to figure out where we work. So thing was pointed down. We're gonna check this one out. Uh, this one, you know, it's this one doesn't do all that great. I love the people here, so I'm not gonna probably never gonna pull it, but. We might, I don't know, we might pull it eventually. I actually think I might have borrowed money from this one at some point too. I can't remember if I did or not, but we're gonna try to stop doing that. Whenever you're like, it's something that's nice about having a vending company is whenever you're hurting and you need to like do something to compensate yourself, you can always just go to one of your machines and grab a couple dollars. I do it, I'm sure other people do it. All right, this is the location that I can't film at. I can f film like the outside of it. So we're just gonna quickly, I should have sped this whole thing up a little bit more. I run in there and I go service the machine. I try not to take like any time at all. But uh, these guys, this location is by far 
my worst location. Um, when we go over the numbers, the strange thing is, is this, uh, this location has 60 employees. So I'm like totally shocked that it's only doing 40 something dollars a month. That's flipping, it's flipping horrible. Thinking about put it on a two or three month cycle. Might even put it on a six month cycle, service it twice a year sort of deal. That way it's actually worth going in there and doing something with. I don't know. I figure if I fill the machine up and they're doing $40 in sales a month, right? So turn that into maybe once every three months. No, 40, 40, 40, 40. Yeah, yeah, we could do it once every six months and it'd be fine. Kind of stinks to have a have a location that you're rocking once every six months though. That's just that's just not fun. These uh, these locations happen, and it is what it is. You can't uh, you can't get too upset about it, but you got to be able to pull out. You know, like I'm having trouble with that. I actually just spoke to someone not too long ago that's uh, having trouble doing the same thing. They got to pull out of a location and they don't want to. So that's it for this location. We'll move on to the next one now. This is our co-op location. This has turned into a little hidden gem. I remember the first uh, time we ever collected this location, I was wicked upset because we pulled $40 out of it and I was just like, oh, great. Another $40 a month location, that's all I need. But uh, now that we've worked out the kinks and they've really gotten moving, I'm pretty happy with this location. You guys will see at the end of the video uh, just how much we pulled from this location. And look, the uh, I'm wicked excited about that. The, uh, whatchamacallit there, the ramen. The ramen did really, really well. I think we might, <laughs> we might put regular ramen in there too and see if it sells. But uh, the cup ramen, um, these guys buy it like crazy. I might put the... Uh, I might put the stack ramen for like 75 cents in there. Little shelves or whatever. So these guys want me to change up some product. We talked about it last time and we're going to do it. Um, some of our bigger buyers are diabetics. So they either do the uh, Coke Zero or Pepsi Zero and stuff like that. So we're going to take the Sprite out of there, which I didn't even realize I had in there. And uh, we're going to pull out the... Uh, What's the other one? Oh yeah, uh, the flavored ginger ale. We're gonna pull the flavored ginger ale and the Sprite. And then uh, from there we'll put in Diet Pepsi and we'll put in uh, Pepsi Zero. Cause that's, uh, that's what they wanted. It seems like people are asking for Pepsi a bit more. But, oh, I'm so stoked that those, <laughs> the margin on those noodle cups, holy cow. I gotta, I'm just gonna check real quick. I'm gonna do the math while we're watching this. So I paid $1.98 for six of them, right? And I sold, calculator clear, 1.98 divided by six, 33 cents. Okay, so it's not quite as great as I thought. It's about the same as a can of soda. But uh, actually, a can of soda's margin's even better than that. I'm gonna put some of the regular ramen in the bottom. We'll put some beef, some chicken and uh, maybe some shrimp or something. And I'll put those in for 75 cents and see how they sell. Maybe just two rows of one or the other. We'll do two rows of one or the other, that's what we'll do. But I'm really shocked that that did well. We are at our last location here, guys. This is our Randolph location. Um, in the near future, we may actually be selling this location um, without the We'll sell it without the soda machine. The soda machine will come with me. Um, I've actually purchased this soda machine at this point, so I am the sole owner of it. So I can put whatever I want in it now. Yay, legally. <laughs> no, this guy loves, this guy loves talking to me. Um, I'm actually gonna miss that guy. So orange soda's gotta be filled up in this sucker. Might just, I just leave it the way it is for the rest of the month but the uh, sales were down on this machine as well it's probably the probably the slowest month this machine's ever seen um, I know for a fact that I took about I want to say $30 out of this machine 
at one point. So maybe sales weren't down, maybe it was just doing what it normally does, but I totally forgot that I did that. All right, so we're gonna close this up and go home and start counting some money. How about it, guys? Wanna count some money? Actually, no, let's go to the bank first. We're gonna go to the bank first and uh, we'll show you guys that. All right, so I just did something with my screen while doing this and it confused me. So we're at the bank now. I just set the GoPro up to show you guys what I do. This is a Coinstar that the bank has. The bank no longer accepts change. Um, so they have a free Coinstar. I don't pay anything to use it. It's free for me to use. And uh, I get a printout for every single bag. Do it all separately and just pour everything out, put it back together, and call it good. Now, I'll let you guys watch me do this real quick, put some music behind it, and call it good. All right, so we're back at the house. We need to count up all the bills and enter it into Vensoft. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sit here and start counting bills and stacking them. I put it all in a specific order as I did it and uh, went to town on it. So I'll let you guys watch this real quick and then we'll get back with you in just a second.
All right, guys, I know I don't actually like hold the camera very often anymore, but uh, I wanted to say thank you guys for sticking around after the channel got hacked. I really do appreciate it. Um, let's go over what we got real quick. Let's take a look. Look at these stacks, bro. Bam. Trying to find a good thumbnail image. What do you guys think? I don't know. And we've got all the change over there. So let's talk numbers for a minute. I'm just going to read everything off to you real quick. Uh, VIP Snack Machine did 52.45. VIP Soda Machine did 106. The Randolph Soda Machine did 113.50. The uh, Co-op Location did 189.65. The uh, Hyundai Dealership did $61. The Airport did 122.90. Um, the location I can't really film at did 44.45. Uh, Tire Warehouse West Lab did 202.10 with a soda machine and 107.45 with a snack machine. The uh, Claremont Subaru soda machine did uh, 3.36 after credit cards. Um, the snack machine did 210.15. Uh, so that put us at a grand total of 1598.35. That's a pretty dramatic collection. It's not. It's an increase from last month but not like a dramatic increase from last month. Uh, so I'm really hoping that the two new snack machines are gonna make a huge difference in that. Uh, if you're viewing this video, the chances are that I might be live right now going on my trip down to Mass to pick up these machines. So I'm super, super stoked about that. All right, guys. Um, in ones alone, we did uh, $1,113. In fives, we did $75. In change, we did $313.35. In uh, credit card transactions, we did uh, $97, sorry, just $97. So, uh, with that being said, we're, man, we're solid. I'm wicked happy with the way this came out. Really, really good month. So, I wanted to say something else. I can't remember what I wanted to say. So, thanks for tuning in. All right, Bear Squad, peace out. It's Polar Bear. Remember to love life and live your dreams. Peace.